Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk about how pain can make you a better person. So what I mean here is, quite often when people have a turbulent past, a rough past, it can actually make them a better person. And a lot of people who have been through a bunch of just difficulty in their past, they usually can come out kinder and gentler because of it. Because since they've suffered so much, they don't want to see other people suffer either. So they'll actually treat other people with kindness and be gentle to them because they want to lessen the suffering of others. And in that way, they almost want to lessen the suffering of the world. And that's a very beautiful thing. But people don't really end up with that mentality if they haven't had a rough past. Sure, you can occasionally have people who are just nice in general and they want to lessen the suffering of others because of their niceness, but that's pretty rare. Quite often you'll find that people who desire to be kind and gentle towards others in that manner usually have seen or experienced some crazy things, some very difficult or turbulent things that have made them just want to show the other people that kindness to do their part to at least not increase the suffering in the world because God knows there's a bunch of it. So this is what I'm talking about and it's an incredibly beautiful thing because there's just something about someone having a rough difficult past and not letting it conquer them, not letting it demoralize them because that that happens so often as well where people are just crushed from a young age by life or their parents or society or whatever it may be, difficult, unfortunate circumstances, and they let it defeat them. They, they let it turn them cynical and pessimistic and sometimes even mean and, and cruel to other people. There are literally people out there who have had such a rough past that they allowed to crush them that they become rude to others and they almost feel like their rudeness is justified because of the suffering they've had in the past. They almost feel like they're allowed to be rude to others because of what they've been through. And that's so messed up. It makes them almost entitled. They feel like the world owes them something just because they went through a lot of crap when they were younger. But the world doesn't owe anyone anything. And for someone to come out of suffering with that kind of mentality is really unfortunate because all it's going to do is set them up for a lifetime of disappointment and negativity and overall just a not so great life compared to other people. In fact, I can almost guarantee a mentality like that basically tells you that someone is going to live a mediocre life. And it's unfortunate, but it's the truth. So when somebody has a rough past and they don't let it conquer them, they don't let it defeat them, and they instead become optimistic and positive afterwards, and they choose to be kind and gentle towards others, that's incredible. That is such a beautiful thing because they're basically showing the strength of the human spirit, the resilience, resiliency of it. And it's incredibly admirable because when someone has been through that kind of difficulty in the past and they don't let it defeat them, that's astonishing because the default is to let it crush you. That's the default. That's what happens to a lot of people out there. They just get destroyed by difficult situations. But when someone has a, a rough pass and they don't let it do that to them, that is such an incredible thing. So if that describes you, if you're one of those people who've had a rough pass, but you didn't let it conquer you, now you're able to better connect with others and you choose to be kind and gentle towards other people, seriously, give yourself a pat on the back because that is such an admirable thing. And I don't think enough people recognize this or at least speak to it or, or speak of it because it's, uh, it's such a great thing. And, and I love seeing it because yeah, the default is just to let life crush you. And so many people do that. So when you don't fall into that category and you allow your, your pain to make you a better person, to allow you to grow and to be a tool to help you better connect with others. That is so freaking great. That is so awesome. Ah, it's such a beautiful thing. And 
seriously, I mean, <laughs> I'm almost at the point where I'm going to like repeat myself, but it's so true. It's such an incredible thing. And I don't think enough people actually give themselves that credit when they've done that in their own life, when they've been able to rise above a tough past. And it doesn't even need to be the most tough thing out there. I know all of us have suffered in different ways, and there will always be someone out there who has had things worse than you. But there's no point in comparing your, your past, your suffering to them. That doesn't do you any favors. So don't get caught up in that game. If you've had a tough past, something, a past that has forced you to grow and to rethink your outlook on life and just you still chose to be good and to basically work on yourself, then you are awesome. So that's basically all I wanted to talk about in this video, just how our pain can help us become better people because so many people just don't realize that or they don't use it as a tool to become better. They use it as a, a tool to play the victim mentality and to let life crush them and to believe that the world owes them everything and then to act super entitled and just treat other people in rude manners and just be mean and that's so not cool. So everyone out there who doesn't, who hasn't let that happen to them, you are all soldiers and it's high time you recognize that. But anyway, that's all I have for you guys in this video. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe and follow if you want to see more content like this. Otherwise, if you've been following me for a while, then be sure to hit that like button. That's the easiest way you can help me out to make the algorithm boost this video and show it to more people. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And otherwise, share the video if you think other people could benefit from it as well. And always remember, guys, we're all in this journey together. So all that matters is that you keep staying strong, keep choosing to be tough, and just keep moving forward. That's all we can do. Be strong, keep going, because we're all on this journey together. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Arrivederci!